So we're inspired. What's it all about? <laughs> Elfie, is it just for the moment we live? What's it all about when you see it out, Elfie? <laughs> Um, <clears throat> relationship. It's so glorious. <laughs> uh, I feel real inspired for our next Patreon session to um, really dive into relationship and what it means to overcome separation, um, overcome conflict, anything that takes us apart from each other. How do we come back into communion, into union? And in the 25 years of stewarding Hummingbird, and, and that has been continually such a big lesson. How do we um, work with one another mm -hmm. in a field of love where we move into vulnerability, humility, let go of our position, of our mm -hmm. need to be right, and, um, mm -hmm. and sit together in prayer, you know? Kasha has been a beautiful teacher for me of coming and, and being in that humble, vulnerable place, you know, to allow anything that arises in separation yeah. between us, you know, yeah. that we, we place on the altar and ask for what's the gift here. Right, right. And, uh, and, and you know, the <clears throat> and within that, you know, really accessing what it means to stabilize a community or anything is the coherent pattern at the center. And we, can the center hold the frequency to go through it? Because we're talking about our typical energies that are moving in our collective psyche. And uh, mm -hmm. it just takes a deep humility mm -hmm. not to get engaged in thinking you have the answer. Mm -hmm. No isms here, this is self-responsibility, you know, at that level of uh, mm -hmm. creation. And mm -hmm. I think that we hope we're, well, we are modeling that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, learning, you know, that not to project on one another, um, to take self-responsibility for mm -hmm. our creations, mm -hmm. yeah, and be willing to, to work through it. It's, you know, knowing that we all come into relationship and into community with our conditioning, with our patterns, with our traumas, mm -hmm. with our wounds, yeah. and they get activated, and then we <coughs> react, and, you know, how do we then mend that, heal that, allow that to, like, mm -hmm. be a... A bigger arc of um, not only healing for per us personally and between one another, um, but also it permeates out mm. into a wider <clears throat> collective. So yeah. that's the um, exploration that we we're going to go into in our our next session together and really um, glean some of the lessons and teachings over mm. the last 25 years of doing community and last 50 years of being in a relationship together. Yeah, and I just, I have this, this uh, inclination in relationship to what what that means to allow a field to organize. It's like yesterday and all of a sudden, you know, I had that whole experience of, uh, of, uh, of the hummingbird? Uh, well, the hummingbird was one, but this other experience I was having with Oceana and and everything they were bringing to us you know and uh, and, uh, <coughs> and I've shared this I think before but I've learned in my 80 some years three thing or two things show up pay attention stay in touch where do I go what do I do and what do I say and to whom so the, the drawing out is it's like sitting down and having what we're building here and what that means for us to support other seedlings, other communities with our model that mm -hmm. is, is non-hierarchical, which is stepping out of all kinds of, all the isms, you know, to, mm -hmm. and you can have them, you know, there's not a lot of that, but... Yeah, so we important. really want to serve all the all these budding communities. There's so many that want to mm. move into community life together and really grok what it takes to get the level of commitment. Yeah, mm. it's a devotional path for sure. Yeah.
Yeah. Come so hope to see you there. <laughs>